don't even know you But it don't take long for a heart to show you When you meet someone that amazing Once in a life the first track on my EP is 6 a.m. and I wrote this song myself um, in two parts really. I started it last spring uh, just kicking around song ideas on the guitar and uh, came up with this catchy melody that, that I knew had to be on the record. And um, so I wrote uh, a storyline, you know, about a guy who meets a girl in a airport and they're both kind of trapped there for the night because of a storm and um, just kind of goes in how he kind of falls for her but she has to leave at 6 a.m. the next morning and I wrote the chorus that uh, the same day as I came up with the melody and um, kind of put the song away uh, which I kind of do with a lot of songs um, and came back to it months later actually um, I was running out of time I only had a few days before we cut the uh, songs in Nashville uh, this was in October, and um, I made myself sit down and finish 6 a.m. and write the verses in the last chorus, and um, we cut it just two or three days later in Nashville, and um, that's what you hear on the EP. And I'm really proud of how it turned out. Girl, I drove all night just to be here at your door. You know I've come. Say I'm sorry and a whole lot more Funny story about track number two on the EP. It's called Who I Am and I actually learned it when I was a kid off of this uh, VHS uh, rodeo blooper tape um, <laughs> Believe it or not, and it was just a background song on the tape um, and I learned it when I was a kid when I just started playing and singing and performed it ever since and I kind of uh, never really did pay attention when I was a kid of who wrote it or uh, you know looked up the credits and then um, um, I kind of lost track of the, the VHS and years went by and uh, anyway we found the VHS again in my parents basement so I do know who the writers are and they are Keith Flake and um, Jeff Dayton so um, and I hope to send a, a copy of my EP to them uh, when it's finished. But I'm still waiting on this heart to start unloving you. Track number three is called Unloving You, and I wrote this song about a year ago, and I performed it a lot um, live, and so you might have heard it there. And I just wanted to get a recording of it because it was something different, and I just always enjoyed playing the song. Um, if you haven't heard it, it's about uh, a guy who is um, obviously broke up with someone or they left and he's doing what he can to try to convince his heart to uh, forget her and it's not working. And um, I think the recording turned out great. It's really different and uh, really, really um, just a cool vibe. Like her dad and grandpa did. Some things change, but a lot of things don't. Some will complain. Some when We Get Old was uh, written by me and my producer, Eric Halvig, and David Adam Burns. We wrote this in Nashville, Tennessee on um, back in May of 2016. And first time I had written with Eric and David, and we were just trying to come up with ideas for the EP um, and song searching. And um, we were kicking around um, ideas about small towns and um, what things will be the same and what things always change and we kind of wrote a song about how the old generation how they view the younger generation and um, and how we'll be viewing the young generation when we're older um, differently as well and um, it's a fun song and I like the way it turned out in the studio and um, I hope you guys enjoy it so please help me hold guitar to say what's on my broken heart right now. Goodbye Song was written back in 2012 when my grandfather passed away. Um, I wrote this just a few days before his funeral and performed it at his funeral. I think it turned out great and I'm very proud of it. <laughs> 